in the fifth year of PharmD, apart from three theory subjects, clerkship and project is there. During the project, it can be done by not less than two people and not more than four people in a group. It is a group project for a period of six months. When they do the project, there are certain factors which they need to consider during the topic selection. The project which a student select during the fifth year should be novel and interesting. When I say interesting, it is why because the students who take up the project topic should like the topic. So that is the reason normally the area of interest to the student has to be found out. The project topic should be relevant. When I say relevant, it should be something which is connected to the disease or the drugs. It should not be irrelevant like say for example, the student wanted to know which are all the surgical equipments used in the department of surgery for the operation. So it should be relevant topic and also feasible. Say when the student want to do a project on oncology area or in the department of oncology and if the hospital doesn't have the oncology department, it is not feasible. So project topic which is selected should be feasible and it should be also researchable. There should be some research or there should be some outcome because of the project. At the same time, don't forget that it should have all the ethical principles involved in the project. Getting the approval from the hospital ethics committee and then start doing the project. Before doing the project, selection of the topic, the feasibility, all those things, a presentation should be made in front of the Hospital Ethics Committee and after getting the approval of the Hospital Ethics Committee, a six months project work needs to be carried out by the student. As I already told you, not less than two people and not more than four people can combine and do this project. What are the areas in which the project can be done? There are so many areas of research for the project. Few of the areas are listed down. For example, drug use evaluation studies. What category of antibiotics are being prescribed? What category of benzodiazepines are prescribed? Diuretics. The drug use evaluation study is a basic study where a retrospective or the prospective study can be carried out. Next is monitoring of the prescriptions for drug interactions or monitoring of the prescriptions for any adverse drug reactions or any drug related problems including medication error or medication therapy management. So these are the areas where the monitoring of prescriptions can be done for drug interactions, ADRs, drug related problems and also MTM, medication therapy management. Project on pharmaceutical care on long term disorders like diabetes, hypertension and asthma also can be carried out. Checking for the regional drug use, especially the surgical antimicrobial prophylaxis and switchover therapy from IV to oral antimicrobial agents also can be done. There are a lot of areas like health related quality of life on long term disorders like cancer, diabetes, asthma. The prescription pattern studies also can be done on pediatrics, geriatrics, pregnancy and in intensive care units. In special populations like renal impairment or hepatic impairment patients, the dosage individualization can be taken up as a project and therapeutic guidelines can be prepared through projects, especially for antibiotics, anticoagulants and antihypertensive medications. Even the pharmacoepidemiology studies can be done for the incidence rate of a particular disease or the use of drugs or the lifetime prevalence of a particular disease. And study on cost effectiveness analysis, that is, pharmacoeconomic study can be done. Either cost effective or cost benefit or cost utility or cost minimization studies can be done. In community pharmacy, also, they can take up few projects like effective healthcare screening programs, pharmacist and patient counseling, the effectiveness of patient counseling by the pharmacist, 
and few of the pharmacokinetic and pharmacodynamic studies, especially the BABE studies, bioavailability and bioequivalent studies can be taken up.